Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Gertologist. Hello guys. Let's discuss about a very common medical problem called acute gastroenteritis. Acute gastroenteritis refers to a sudden onset of inflammation and irritation of the gastrointestinal tract, which includes the stomach and intestines. Transmission. Gastroenteritis is often spread through the ingestion of contaminated food or water, and poor hygiene practices. This condition is commonly caused by viral or bacterial infections, but it can also result from parasites or toxins. Among viral infections, rotavirus, norovirus, and adenovirus are commonly involved, especially in children. Among bacterial infections, Salmonella, E. coli, Campylobacter, and Shigella can cause gastroenteritis through contaminated food or water. Certain parasites, including protozoa such as Giardia lamblia or Cryptosporidium can lead to gastroenteritis. Consuming contaminated food or water containing toxins can result in gastroenteritis. Patients with acute gastroenteritis often experience symptoms such as diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and sometimes fever. The severity and duration of symptoms can vary depending on the underlying cause. Diagnosis. Healthcare professionals may diagnose acute gastroenteritis based on symptoms, medical history, and sometimes laboratory tests to identify the specific infectious agent. Healthcare providers will evaluate the patient's symptoms, including diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and fever. The onset and duration of symptoms are important considerations. In medical history the doctor will collect information about recent food and water consumption, travel history. The doctor will conduct a physical examination to assess the patient's overall condition, hydration status, and signs of abdominal tenderness. In some cases, the doctor may order laboratory tests to identify the causative agent and confirm the diagnosis. Common tests include to detect bacterial infections, a sample of the patient's stool may be collected and analyzed for the presence of bacteria. Stool ova and parasite examination, to identify parasitic infections. Stool antigen tests, for certain viral infections, such as rotavirus or norovirus. In some cases, other blood tests may be performed to assess the overall health of the patient and to check for signs of dehydration, including complete blood count urea, creatinine and electrolytes, and uric acid levels. Imaging studies are typically not the first line of diagnosis for acute gastroenteritis. But in severe cases or if complications are suspected, imaging studies such as abdominal x-rays or ultrasound abdomen may be ordered. In certain situations, where patient presents with persistent symptoms, the doctor may recommend an endoscopy to visualize the gastrointestinal tract directly to rule out other inflammatory conditions. Treatment of gastroenteritis. In cases where patient has severe vomiting, patient is advised to take nothing per oral, and fluids are replaced via intravenous route. Hydration is the main focus of the doctor in cases of severe diarrhea or vomiting. Replacing lost fluids and electrolytes is crucial. Diet. Gradual reintroduction of a normal diet is tolerated. Medications. 1. Antiemetics may be prescribed to control nausea or vomiting. 2. Antidiarrheal medications may be used in certain cases, where infective pathology is ruled out. Common antidiarrheal medications include, Imodium and Lomatil. 3. Antibiotics may be prescribed in cases where bacterial infections are the source of gastroenteritis. 4. Antiparasite agents are prescribed in cases of protozoa infections being the source of acute gastroenteritis. In cases of severe symptoms or where acute gastroenteritis is not properly managed, it can lead to various complications. Including. 1. Dehydration is the most common complication. The excessive loss of fluids and electrolytes can lead to dehydration, especially in vulnerable populations such as infants, elderly individuals, and those with weakened immune systems. Signs of dehydration include increased thirst, dry mouth, dark urine, lethargy, and, in severe cases, dizziness or confusion. 
2. Loss of electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and chloride can disrupt the balance necessary for proper bodily functions. This imbalance can affect the function of muscles, nerves, and other organs. 3. Metabolic acidosis. In cases of severe dehydration and electrolyte imbalance, there may be an accumulation of acid in the body, leading to metabolic acidosis. 4. Severe dehydration can impact kidney function, potentially leading to acute kidney injury. 5. Prolonged or severe gastroenteritis may interfere with the absorption of nutrients from the digestive tract, leading to malnutrition. Healthy general practices which will also help prevent acute gastroenteritis are advised, including 1. Practicing good hygiene, including frequent handwashing. 2. Proper food handling and preparation to prevent contamination. 3. Vaccination, especially for viral causes like rotavirus. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional if you suspect you have acute gastroenteritis, especially if symptoms are severe. If you have any questions or query, please leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gerdologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.